What's up, tubers? Hold on, I gotta adjust you a little bit. There we go. Okay. And I need to get back to where I was sitting. There we go. Uh, hi, boo. Um, we're back with our next book review. Uh, as promised, it is wow, Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Um, let me read you the panel. Ah, rule three. Don't stare at invisible fairies. Is Aislinn, that's what I call her, I call her Aislinn, um, has always seen fairies powerful and dangerous. They walk hidden in the mortal world. Aislinn fears their cruelty, especially if they learn of her sight, and wishes she were blind to their presence as other teens. <clears throat> Rule 2, don't speak to invisible fairies. Now fairies are stalking her. One of them, Kean, Keenan, sorry, <laughs> Keenan, who is equal parts terrifying and alluring, is trying to, is trying to talk to her, asking her questions. Aislinn is afraid to answer. Rule one, never attract their attention. But it's too late. Keenan is the summer king who has sought his queen for nine centuries. Without her, summer itself will perish. <clears throat> he is de determined that Aislinn is will be the summer queen at any cost, regardless of her own plans or desires. Suddenly, none of the rules that have kept Aislinn safe are working anymore, and everything is on the line. Her freedom, her best friend Seth, her life, everything. Fairy intrigue, mortal love, and the clash of an and, and the clash of ancient rules and modern expectations swirl together in Melissa Mars' stunning 21st century fairy tale. And it really is a stunning 21st century fairy tale. Um, Aislinn is for the longest time I called her Ashlyn, and then I realized that's not how her name is spelled. Um, it's Aislinn. It's A I S L L I N N. There we go. <laughs> um, so it's Aislinn. Um, she is a typical teenager, except she sees the fairies. She sees the fair folk. Um, and she has caught the attention of the Summer King. And because of that, she's also caught the attention of the Winter Queen, who is, woo, -woo boy, is she not nice. Um, but she wants nothing to do with the Fae. Um, she wants to live her life. She wants to live her life with her best friend, Seth, who she happens to kind of... <laughs> um, she wants to live her life with him. She just wants to be mortal. Unfortunately, once you were chosen, there is really no way out. So she and Seth come up with any way they can to protect her from Keenan, And it's, it's, really, it's really such a good story. Um, it's not... It's third person, um, but it's it still pulls you in, pulls you in, and pulls you in. Um, highlights to the book: the relationship between, for me, it's the relationship between Seth and Aislinn. That's um, that's that's really what pulled me in is their relationship. It's just so honest and true, and they don't hide anything from each other. And it is really a case of friendship turning romantic, and it is very believable, and I really like it. Um, <sighs> Seth is strange, though. He's older than Aislinn. I know he's older than her, but he lives in a refurbished train car, which actually protects, them quite ni protects him and Aislinn quite nicely because it's too much iron. Faye can't be around that amount of iron. I'm waving a comb at you. Fae, fairy cannot be around that amount of iron because it's too much for them. Iron is their weakness. Um, Keenan can go inside the train car, but only for short periods of time or it becomes too painful for him. Um, yeah, so it's it's actually really, really smart. I mean, he's like, you know, he's he's an independent, older guy who lives in a refurbished train car and does his own thing, um, but at the same time he's really sweet and gentle and very genuine to Aislinn and he really, really cares about her. He really cares about her choices, what she wants, even if Keenan doesn't. Um, he reminds her, when she gets pulled in, he reminds her to pull herself back out, to remember that this isn't what she wanted, no matter how alluring it may seem, this is not the life she wants for herself. Um, 
yeah, so their relationship is definitely a highlight of the book. Um, prose, extremely well written, very funny at times. Um, it's extreme, yeah, it's extremely funny at times. Um, but it's also very serious at times, which gives you that nice counterbalance there. Um, cons. We're in a queen. She's kind of a bitch. But, you know, the bad guy's supposed to be. Um, that is, yeah, that is her, that is the con for her, for the book, is definitely the bad guy. But the bad guy's always the con. Um, I don't really... No. Even the way they portray the fact that, you know, Seth wants more from, at first Seth wants more from the relationship than Aislinn does, um, even the way they portray that is absolutely perfect. Um... <laughs> so yeah, that's an overall review. Very well written book. Grabs you, holds you. It is the actually the first in a series. I have the second one. Um, don't know it as well as I know this one though. Um, and I think there's like three more, two, three more uh, that I don't have that I need to get. Um, but I definitely recommend it. Definitely teen range. Definitely a teen range, because it's not overly explicit on anything. So definitely, definitely teen range. There's no outright smut in it, so, you know, it's safe for the younger teens. Um, and it gets... <laughs> I give it a 9.5 out of 10. I do, I do, I do. Um, so yeah, that is my review for Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go out, get it, read it, love it. And next up on our book reviews is one of the most anticipated books in the Dark Hunter series because Sherilyn Kenyon, yes, you are a goddess and you just rock so much. Next up on our book reviews is Asheron. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.